Hello, Hello everybody. And welcome, welcome to, to the Book, Book Doctor's YouTube channel. channel. We have a very special guest today, Wyatt Two Moore. Hi. Uh, who just, we were at the Montclair uh, Literary Festival. She just did her presentation. I did. Uh, and apparently it went very well. It was, a, it was a lot of fun. The questions were thoughtful. And, and I, I enjoy conversations that, that are followed by thoughtful questions. Excellent. Yeah, that helps. Because yeah. sometimes when you get dumb questions, <laughs> it's just like, what? okay, I guess I'll answer that, I suppose. Why so not? So we would love to hear about your journey yes, to the, getting published. Yes, okay. All right. So... I wrote a first draft of my book in, I finished it in 2009. Okay. First draft. Okay. So the, the, the way that I even went about writing um, this draft was, I was writing a lot of pieces that explored my identity as being African in America, but then also mm. identifying as African American and having African American mm. sensibilities. And a friend of mine in undergrad asked me if I'd ever considered writing African fiction. <laughs> And I said, well, well, actually, no, I, I, I had it, not in, not African fiction based on the continent. Mm -hmm. And so I, I started off by writing about 20 pages, and that became what was my graduate school thesis. And Were so, you getting an MFA? I, I was. Okay. I was at USC. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, actually, it was called a Master of Professional Writing at the time. Which okay. Was a, USC? Yeah. yeah. USC, yeah. Southern California. University of Southern California. Yeah, but they actually discontinued that program. I they remember changed, this, you remember actually. This? Yeah. How much did they you have to pay to get in there, by the way? To I did, <laughs> of course! <laughs> You know, like, how she's like gonna be like, what? How intimate is this conversation? <laughs> no, you know that okay. USC was this. one of the schools that these celebrities yes, paid for yeah, their yeah, kids exactly. to get. Oh yes, got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, but no, we took no side doors. <laughs> no, well, I'm sure there were no side doors. No, I didn't get any side doors. I know. So, um, so I, so I, I went there, and then at the end of that year, which was 2009 or so, okay. I had 600 pages in my thesis. Oh my pieces. goodness! Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, but it was, it was a mess. I put it away for a few years. But it was a mess. Let's not. Let's it was not, a mess, and, I, and let's I feel share like share that I, with our readers. I think, I think, as a writer, you, you sort of, you, you expect, or you definitely want to have the finished product yeah, right away, and we pressure ourselves and bully ourselves we into do. having a, a very precise piece of work um, immediately. And that's just unrealistic. Um, yeah. I don't want to, I never wanted to resent my art. And I know that there are two mm. schools. Some people look at writing as a craft and some people look at writing as an art. And those who look at writing as a craft, they say, force yourself to write, force mm. yourself to finish it, force uh -huh. yourself to make it perfect, yeah. work on your sentences. And while I respect that, I think that if, if there is, um, if if you lose the voluntary aspect and you 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 risk losing the passion for it and That's you begin to resent the thing it is that you're doing and the thing that it is that you're that is supposed to offer escapism and renewal and so it's so interesting because Brad who we were just interviewing mm -hmm. comes um, to fiction He's writing a as a journalist writer. newspaper oh, wow. journalist deadline deadline yeah. deadline yeah. 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 and he writes a thousand words a day yeah so it's an That's interesting great. balance and and there's people for each for sure. kind of process yeah i think the discipline helps and discipline is certainly important but i think that people definitely conflate discipline with with the need to get published right right uh -huh. and I, I think having discipline in your art whether or not it's going to be commercialized and distributed is important because that means you respect the thing it is that you're doing um, but if you're constantly focused on the commercial aspect or the distribution aspect that's how you begin to resent it so i didn't want to do that at all okay but so, i think that inhibits you as a, as, a, as a writer also when you're right. always thinking about Oh, is this sentence gonna sell? Right. Is this character does it need to be does it need to be nicer? Yeah. Also, because the industry is it can be um, so it's based on trends a lot. Yeah. And so absolutely. if you're focused on yeah. what's going to sell, yeah, right exactly. mermaids. That's what we have to write about. Mermaids. <laughs> yes. like, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Which is actually is what I'm writing about right now. For my next <laughs> Are you seriously writing about but mermaids? Next novel, no, but not, but not mermaids in like the aerial sense. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's right, right. mermaids in like the Mamiwata Liberia sense, and and wow. and Mamiwata was a tragedy. Wow. In Liberia, wow. yeah, she's nothing like Ariel. She essentially, she would turn herself into various objects huh. on shore, and as wow. soon as you pick it up, she she'll pull you into the ocean because she didn't want to be so alone. 
they painted her in mythology as this woman who who was in the Atlantic Ocean all by herself mm. and she would drown people so she wouldn't be alone oh that's that's how, how I was introduced to a mermaid how weird is it that you said mermaid and you're you felt, oh, yeah. you felt that connection oh, yeah. right? yeah. Yeah. but I already oh, yeah. want to read this book we yeah, do a lot about too. pitches we do this whole we're doing a thing today with a, an event that's all people pitching books uh huh I already want to read this book. Really? Okay, yes. cool. It, it it's dark. So it's a cool. tragedy. Actually, yes. I, I started off writing somewhat of a YA book. Oh, And okay. then I just took a rough turn. Like, oh, <laughs> let me just stick to... Then you're like, no 16-year-old should be reading this stuff. Just yeah, yeah. So how many years after 2009 did you start yes. even queer or whatever process? Yeah. So I put it away for a few years, okay. and I was working in the city, working in New York. I worked, I worked a nonprofit. I had goals of starting a nonprofit of my own. Okay. And and I couldn't stop thinking about the work. I couldn't stop mm -hmm. thinking about the book. Yeah. So I returned to it in 2013 or so. Okay. Um, and when I returned to it and started editing again, there was an agent who I would met in 2009 okay. at the Squaw Valley Writers Workshop. Uh, sure. Yeah. Which, uh, I mean, a lot of people go to workshops to meet yeah. agents. We tell writers all the time, it's such a good thing to do. If you yeah. go to the right one, yeah. because you can meet somebody. Yeah, who exactly. Who would be interested. Help you, absolutely. And so this, this particular agent wasn't, so I, I, I handed, he handed me a business card. Um, a, a couple agents had at the time and I reached out to mm -hmm. him about the work and he was more interested in what I had to present as um, as an immigrant mm -hmm. like the immigrant story mm -hmm. and while I have a memoir I didn't want that to be my introduction I really uh, believed in this this book that I'd written that I that I thought was, was special fiction. yeah my yeah. novel and so and so parted ways with him, and then I had made a friend at Squaw Valley as well, and he said, oh, there's this other agent who was interested in your work. Do you remember meeting her? You should send her your work as well, and I did. Uh -huh. And she's my agent now, Susan Gollum, and we, uh -huh. we hit it off and started that relationship. And so she read the book, and she liked it. She said, there's something here but let's edit it, let's turn some things around. Because it, as I said, it was 600, it was just too long. Yeah, too big. There, right. were, there was an extra character. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, I worked on it for a couple years. Okay. Like I, would, I, would, I would edit. She's very good, she has yeah. an eye, um, she, she calls it out. I mean, I sent it to friends. Uh -huh. I, I had an editor I worked with on my own. Uh -huh. um, I just wanted to do everything I could to make yep. it as, as strong as possible. She wanted to do everything she could <laughs> to make it as strong as possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. so many of our writers, yeah. they write the first draft, mm -hmm. and there's some good parts in it, and there's mm -hmm. some parts you're like, Ugh. Yeah. but then they don't take those next steps. I know, I know. Yeah, because I, I think at the end of the day, what we have to remind ourselves is, if you are writing for yourself, then keep a journal. Right? Yeah, right, right. But <laughs> if you do commit yes. to writing yes. for others and being mindful and considerate to the sensibilities of others, then you do need to be be conscious of what readers um, right would be into and yeah. how yeah. they would process your work and and how they how they process story or how they process the story you've written and so we were I worked on it for a couple years and she went to market with it at, in fall of 2015 uh -huh, or so uh -huh. and we got a lot of no's a lot yeah. of no's said, oh, well is this YA uh -huh. um, magical realism uh -huh. African diaspora is it is right. this isn't necessarily literary fic isn't it well can, can we change it a bit to, so it can be YA okay. because they were thinking mm. and then another thing that I like to tell people is when art marries commerce, it becomes something else, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. yes. right? And so, uh, a lot of the people who are running these publishing houses, they 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 are interested in what's going to sell. They yeah, are looking absolutely. at models of, of comps and yeah. And so, and and it's understandable. They they, yeah. they work in a business, yeah, and at the end of the day, that's what the literary industry exists in. So. I, so we got a lot of no's initially, and uh, then Susan called me and said Grey Wolf was interested. And Ooh, we Wolf, love Grey Wolf. I love Grey Wolf. <laughs> I love Grey Wolf. They they yeah. they took a chance on the book. Yeah. And did they publish it as adult fiction? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I it, right? they didn't have to right. to change the the infrastructure of the story yeah. at all. They just. I mean, we. I worked with Fiona. She's she's yeah, a publishing yeah, manager. Publisher. Yeah. Yeah, they're I mean, they're just her. amazing. You could tell that everyone. Yeah reads the work yep. very carefully, that everyone there cares about literature. It's a small team, so 
they all give everything into yeah. all of the books that they um, that they that they sign and you can tell yeah. you could tell and, they, and just to add to that it maybe you can just speak to this for a moment because you what you said is already says this in a way which is that we are big proponents of independent presses absolutely and that you have access to the staff mm -hmm. in a way you know I you know I don't know if you had input into your cover design oh my but, gosh yes. yeah yeah, I, I absolutely did. Like I, that is one of the benefits of being with an indie press. And what I will say is, Grey Wolf saying yes to me in December 2015, they, they told me that my book wasn't coming out until 2018. And I was thinking, okay. oh my yeah. goodness, <laughs> why so long? And, yeah. and yeah. devastated. Yeah, yeah right? sure. Like, this is, oh, like this is actually yeah, going yeah, to be a yeah, decade. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And so, but, but I got over it very quickly because as I said, I, I had to remind myself, you know, well, what am I doing it for? Yeah. Right. You know, and if I plan to have a, a career as a writer, then what is three years? Right. And what is three years if, if I'm working on getting this book right? Yeah. Because yeah. I want it to be right. I don't want to just put anything out. And so was very patient. And how timely, because at the beginning of 2018, Black Panther came out. Yeah. So oh, all of a sudden, everyone oh, was like, yes. Yes. oh, yes, the magical realism, yes. respect fic right. on the continent. Yes. And, right. And then it became this, this thing of the moment, yeah. which obviously and do you think that helped get media for the book. I think so. Well. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. It was a Absolutely. whole movement of foot. Yeah. People yeah. were looking for this Absolutely. kind of story. Yeah. Now. yeah. And, and as I said before, it has its disadvantages because if something's trending and goes in and out, but that's why I'm grateful for those three years and the time we put into yeah. it because I do think that the work is something that I would stand behind that it goes beyond the trend. Yeah, it's, right. not, it's not magical realism or speculative fiction or, or whatever you call it and we could have a totally different right. conversation, yeah, a conversation, conversation on genre. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. But, it, but it, it stands as a work of fiction and that's something that I'm proud of and, I, and that's something that required the time yeah. right. that I took with it. Um, Gray, well, going back to the, the note about the cover, so I was very much involved. I told them at the very beginning. They they have a questionnaire, uh -huh. and some of my peers, my friends, will say, "Oh, I just got an email with an attachment." Exactly. And they say, hey, this that's is your yeah. yeah. No, that's part of yeah. in our book. Yeah, yeah. that Pay was very close attention to that. <laughs> that was not my that was not my experience with Grey Wolf. So they sent uh, a questionnaire that just said, "Oh, what are you interested yeah. in seeing on the cover?" And mm -hmm. so, as I said before, they were very mindful of. Yeah of what you want yeah. as a writer. They want us to be proud of the work and proud of the package as well. Yeah. Um, and so I actually asked them, I said, I don't want the color yellow, orange. <laughs> I said, I didn't want a sun, an uh -huh. acacia tree, the uh -huh. desert, uh -huh. anything that- All those cliches. Yes, yeah, yeah, because yeah, 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 you, you yeah. think, oh, it's right. happening on the yeah. continent of Africa. Right, so right, we right, need right. these markers to let the readers know. Yeah. And as I said, there is like a, a genius to that method because then someone who, you know, is going into Barnes & Noble or whatever bookstore, whatever indie bookstore, who knows that they like African fiction yeah. or, or fiction based on the African continent can then say, oh, this book might be might right. happen on the continent, but then it's unfortunate because you don't get the level of creativity or innovation yeah. that Absolutely. some of these books deserve. And also, if people are looking for it, they're gonna find it. Yeah, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's, it's trying to bring other people in Absolutely. as well. That's Absolutely, so important. And it isn't just books by and about African writers or, or um, African cultures. Um, it happens to Islamic writers oh, and narratives yeah. as well. Yeah, India, Indian writers and narratives. Yeah. I was talking to a really good good friend of mine where we made actually like a list of the different things that you see are, are common. Yeah, it's always so like the right. eyes or the sorrow. Right. 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 Yeah, right. yeah, that are very popular. So that's that's a part of publishing yeah. too. Everyone, well, like, the package. Like every part of publishing, most of the designers are white. Mm -hmm. So there's just mm -hmm. what, yeah, for sure. Not that they're what, no, you're right. So they're bringing their own yeah. ideas, yeah. etc. So it when you have an independent publisher and they're interested in your feedback, mm -hmm. so that you can give this kind of input where people might not even think about the unconscious right. ideas that they have. Yeah, no, it really right. makes a difference. You're absolutely right. Yeah, they were they were very generous um, with with how much I could be part of the process in so much that my younger sister she's an illustrator huh. or she's a painter she's oh, an really? artist uh -huh. she's actually an art therapist by trade and okay. she 
I asked her to draw or to, to paint a few iterations of the heroine of the ah. novel, and she did. And we used one of them for the cover. Oh, that's, that's so great. cool. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. Wonderful. yeah we, we used one of them. So that, I mean, Grey Wolf is just all around a tremendous... That's great. Well, I just wanted to say something about what you said earlier, which I, th I think our, our readers, our viewers will, will be interested in. The meeting of art and commerce. Mm -hmm. And when you get published by HarperCollins mm -hmm. and those kinds of places, mm -hmm. the commerce dominates the art. Mm -hmm. And they'll make you a cover and they don't really care whether you like it or not because it's been researched and they they have all these numbers to back up the fact that this right. is the right thing. Or they thing. just don't have time or they to just do don't. another iteration. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more about time and capacity because I think yeah. that, that mostly the people who work in the editorial and creative departments at the Big Five and those houses, they, they are really interested and invested in good literature. Yeah. It's Absolutely. just about the capacity yeah. that they have. Right. Um, publishing companies and people in publishing don't make a lot of money. Right. So yeah. if you have limited staff, and so many books that you have to give attention to, they really are pulled. Um, so I think, I, I, I would like to believe that all many of them are doing just the best that they can sure, right, with the resources that they yeah. have. What I will say is that for the big five, what is really um, uh, helping that a bit mm -hmm. is these imprints that are yeah. coming out, like the, the, the imprints that are, um, for instance, you have um, uh, Kwame, I'm, I'm part of that. Oh, there, oh, she helped start that. Yeah. She helped start that's that. That's wonderful. Yeah. She's that's Kwame's wonderful. agent. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I small, world, that. Yeah, small world. It is a small world after all. <laughs> it is a small world. Yeah. So my my nonprofit, One More Book, we are distributed oh, yeah. um, through, some of our books are distributed through Scholastic Book Clubs. Oh, okay. Tell okay. us about that. About that, that yeah, so, so my nonprofit, we publish books for children who rarely see themselves in books, but we mm -hmm. target uh, children from countries with low literacy rates. And uh -huh. so we have 25 books. We just started doing um, some uh, indigenous language translations this wow. year, although we did have so cool. bilingual and trilingual books before for Haiti. But we have 25 books for Liberia, Guinea, Haiti. Wow. We have an Afro-Brazilian book. And so we started, so we're distributed through ministries of education and NGOs uh -huh. on the ground in these countries and domestically, we're distributed through Amazon and we have a distribution partnership uh, with Scholastic Book Clubs. And it was actually Kwame who made the introduction to Scholastic Book Clubs wow. because we, wow. yeah, so we, we had been in touch. Um, it's a small community of writers, you yeah. know, you always run yeah. into people and he invited me to a dinner that he had with some Scholastic folks and that's how I met them. Oh, that is so funny. Yeah, and that, that's how that relationship with them started. That's so yeah, great. Yeah, very small world well, indeed. Well, that is a wonderful You know, I was looking through all the pictures of people who are presenting here mm -hmm. and I looked at your picture and it just like popped out of me. I don't even know why. But it's <laughs> clearly there's some yeah, kind there's of a, synergy, synergy going on here with there's, Kwami and yeah, everything. That's great. Well, sure. thank you so thank you so much. much. Yeah. Yeah. Down thank with you. Us. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck, everyone. See you at the bookstore. See book you at the bookstore. <laughs>